Well, as we head into yet another weekend, the government shutdown continues. Hundreds of thousands of federal workers are furloughed or continue to work without pay, and some have had enough. Out of news reporter Dan Koob is live at Philadelphia International Airport with more. Dan. That's right, guys. We are now in the 28th day of this government shutdown. And while services have not been delayed at Philly International, a lot of the government and federal employees are definitely feeling the pinch. There was a protest outside the airport earlier today as people continue to show up to work without getting a paycheck. But the airport itself has stepped up, starting a food and supply drive in Terminal C, try to get some non-perishable items and different sort of supplies that these people otherwise would need. While 3rd District Congressman Dwight Evans took to Twitter to get SEPTA to provide free transportation for uniform TSA employees to get to and from work. We had a chance to catch up with the congressman earlier this morning. Look, these people do not need to be caught in the middle. Uh, I have said consistently, it is not their fault. I thank them for what they're doing. We need to figure out ways how to get this done and not point fingers at the people who are working every single day. Now, at airport spokesperson tells me the wait time to get through TSA is still only about a half hour, so really not that bad. And the airport has not experienced some of the mass call outs that other airports around the country, like Atlanta, have dealt with. We're live this afternoon at the Philadelphia International Airport. Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we've been luckier than other airports. Okay, Dan, thank you.